strips as well as Narcan. The health commissioner made the announcement today on this first National Fentanyl Awareness Day. Our David Winter has been covering the story of two young women from OSU who died just last week from taking fentanyl tainted study drugs. David, one of those women was from our area, Greendale, correct? Yeah, that's right, Kyle. It's a tragedy that may have been avoidable had there been more awareness and had these women known they had access to test strips. These test strips that are being distributed now by Hamilton County. They are illegal to possess in the tri-state. Illegal to possess, but not illegal for health departments to distribute. It's confusing, and the confusion may be costing people their lives. Amber Wiedemann allowed us to use this picture from her recent Facebook post. She writes... Jessica was an incredible friend from the beginning. She is one of the funniest and smartest people I have ever met and had an impact on everyone around her. She is speaking about her best friend from Lawrenceburg High School, Jessica Lopez, one of two OSU students who died last week after taking fentanyl-tainted Adderall, meant to be used for people with ADHD, but often used by students as a so-called study drug to help them focus. We asked attorneys from the Harm Reduction Legal Project about the issue of fentanyl getting into all types of black market pills. People probably know there's an inherent danger when they're taking an illicit recreational drug, but don't necessarily think the same when they're taking a drug that they shouldn't be taking for study enhancement. But oftentimes people aren't getting what they think they're getting. And that's true of people who are, you know, buying you know, heroin or, or other similar drugs on the street or buying what they think is Adderall. So the Harm Reduction Legal Project is advocating that states like Kentucky, Ohio and Indiana legalize fentanyl test strips, currently illegal as they are considered drug paraphernalia. I would just ask if we just could have a moment of prayer for those two young ladies who had so much potential. At the Hamilton County Board of Commissioners meeting today, the county health commissioner announced a program to make available free of charge to anyone who wants them fentanyl test strips. We are now doing mail order fentanyl test strips starting just today. Even though it's illegal for people to possess the test strips here, it's not illegal for health departments to distribute them. The health commissioner says it's more important that those who do drugs make sure they're doing so as safely as possible. Test strips are an option family and friends of Jessica Lopez can now only wish she had used. And there is a bill making its way through the Ohio legislature that would make both these fentanyl test strips and the overdose drug Narcan legal to possess. Paula? All right, thank you, David. If you would like to know how to get fentanyl test strips or the overdose drug Narcan, go to local12.com and click on this story. A Cincinnati police officer was involved in a crash 